can't talk to my family on the phone anymore. Like, I'm supposed to call my grandma, I know. But with my grandma, all she has to tell me about is who has cancer in the family and who has a new baby on the way. So, inventory. <laughs> like, who's coming, who's going? <laughs> and all my cousins are having kids. They're having, they're having babies, and she can't wait to tell me, oh, well, they, they, they don't want to know the sex of the baby. Isn't that interesting? And your aunt has cancer, and I'm just sitting there thinking, I'm not going to have any kids, so I'm just thinking about what kind of cancer I'm developing. <laughs> and just like my cousins, I think I just, I want it to be a surprise. Like, I don't want to... <laughs> I don't know what it is until it's here, like, and then I can take care of it, you know? I don't know, I, all of us are worried about losing our health care in this, in this new, this new timeline, but who wants longevity in a situation like this? Who wants to see how this ends? I don't. I don't want to stick around for this. I honestly, I want the health care system that Darth, Darth Vader and Dick Cheney had, like, I want... I want swift recovery from a corrupt government. Like, you you need to invent something to save me. Like, <laughs> I need it to happen. Um, I'm just, at this point, I'm just surprised that was the sperm that made it. Like, and I can't even take credit for that. That was my dad's achievement. Like, that wasn't me. <laughs> I haven't won a race since. It's, I've tried. I, uh, I've been absolutely surrounded by death my entire life. Uh, my grandmother passed away from a complication of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's at the same time, so her mind and her body went when I was in third grade. That was fun. And then my mom died shortly afterwards. I had a friend named Derek Peeper get shot in the back of the head, so Peeper got popped. Um, <laughs> and then I found uh, my roommate's dead body pretty recently, and that's something that uh, I've been dealing with for a while. So at this point in my life, I feel like death is just a shitty middle school friend that I can not get rid of. Like, <laughs> this dirty Jenko jeans and airwalks. You know, he's got the big pocket in the back, so he put the scythe in it. And <laughs> it's like, what are you doing on my couch, man? What are you doing in my fridge? What are you doing to my mom? <laughs> I did. I, uh, I, found, I found my roommate's dead body, and they say that timing plus tragedy equals comedy. But here's the thing, I was always really bad with my timing because I paid rent early and he took care of the bills. So I was staying in a haunted house until the lights went out. Um, his sister and his mom were very disturbed with the situation. They thought that maybe I should talk to somebody about it, so thanks for being here, you guys. I appreciate it. He's the first, he's the first and only person I ever did acid with, so I'm not entirely certain he ever truly existed at all. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows, comedy night, Kyle Adams, give him a hug. <laughs>